<clears throat> How's it going, everybody? This is Ryoki here. Hope everything's doing good. Hope everything's doing great. Uh, so... What are we playing? What is on the screen right now? Why is it in Japanese? Let me explain. We're playing uh, Card Fight Vanguard, Right to Victory. It's a Japanese-only game. How's it going, everybody? This is Ryoki oh. here. Shut up, me. <laughs> uh, it is a Japanese-only game, so there is no English to it, unfortunately. That is just a thing. I can't do anything about it. Uh, card Fight Vanguard is a physical card game. Hello, J. Clark. Hi, buddy. Uh, is an actual physical card game that uh, is actually really, really nice. It's actually one of the first uh, card games that I uploaded to the channel with terrible audio. Highly suggest you don't go look at it. Please don't. Just, just don't. Don't. Okay. Right. Anyways. Uh, but we are going to be playing it. I have the audio for the game uh, muted just simply because, hey, I want to explain kind of, you know, well, what's going on. <sighs> Take my breath. Going to do the things where I say, hey, I'm streaming. Uh, announcements. I want... Live boop cool. Alright, cool. So we are live. And I asked the community in Discord. So that's an awesome perk you get if you're part of the Discord. So uh make sure you join it because we're a good old happy family that we're gonna try and be. But here are essentially the options that we had. Which was hello Sparky! Which was essentially Royal Paladins, Kagero, Nova Grappler, Oracle Think Tank, Gold Paladins, Narukami, or Aqua Force. Uh, we currently had a Narukami at 1 and Royal Paladins at 2. So Royal Paladins did win, so essentially we are going to go with Royal Paladins. If I had my choice, I would go with uh, Gold Paladins because I love Gold Paladins. So, these two people here, the gentleman on the left uh, here, I'm not sure if it'll show up on the screen, is uh, Aichi Sendo. He's the main character of Cardfight Vanguard for up until the G series. Not a problem. And the gentleman on the left is Shen. He is the uh, card shop manager of Card Capital, which is the... Uh, the card shop that this takes place at. So it's a it's a card game anime, but it's not like Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a little bit like Yu-Gi-Oh, but not so much. I can't read any of this, unfortunately. Uh, not being ignorant, just I, I literally can't. We open up a free pack. It's all Royal Paladin base usually. Okay, oh. Okay, game. Alright, so let, let me explain this. So you get five cards of booster pack. That's cool. You get the commons, which you can see up in the top right. Uh, they're, you know, low cards that are uh, the lowest tier. There's commons, rares, double rares, triple rares, and SP cards. Then we have uh, another common... Common, common, and then you usually get a rare or higher. Our rare was a triple rare, which is honestly for this format that this game takes place in, one of the better triple rares for the Royal Paladin Clan, which we just picked up. So, super good pull, very happy about it. I'll explain all the effects, worry not. Uh, I do have the game muted just simply so I can explain things from the get go maybe throughout the episode I will you know take uh, take the sound to be on so I'll, I'll explain how to play the game in a moment I'm not sure if that was scripted or not but that was darn cool
Alright. So here's where we can edit our deck. Alright, so we are going to I do you believe that's it? Okay, yep. Yeah. This is it. So we're going to edit up our deck a little bit. We're uh, not going to be bad at this game. So how this works is you start out with a grade zero. Grade zero is essentially going to be who you are at the very beginning of the game. Uh, these are triggers. Triggers are little boosts that when you reveal them when you attack, you gain uh, power and you gain special effects. This one makes my damage go up by one. This one heals a damage if I've taken damage. At six damage, I lose the game. This is a draw trigger. It essentially allows me to draw a card. Not a problem. And this is a stand trigger. It allowed me to restand or re-attack with uh, one of my cards that is off to its side which I will explain a little bit later on not a problem uh, we are going to drop one Leanne bring those up so these are grade ones grade ones are essentially the next stage you go up from zero to one to two to three not a problem with that right uh, at three is the most pinnacle for this particular game. So we're gonna go ahead and drop in four Wingles, uh, Morgana, and a, uh, a unicorn. Cause why not? Unicorn. Next up, we need great twos. We're gonna have our boy Blaster Blade. He's the iconic card for uh, Royal Paladins. You know. For Galatine, he's uh, a really nice card. Uh, there's better cards nowadays, but he's not too bad. He's not too bad. And we'll drop in Tristan. Tristan's pretty cool. Next up, we gotta have our boy Alfred, who we just pulled. We'll have two Gancelots and four bo uh, uh Three Gancelots then. <laughs> And essentially, these cards are going to be my deck. There we go. We saved our deck. We're ready to play. As we get into this, I will explain, you know... Hey... This is how we play exactly. So we're going to fight this guy here. This guy's name is Morikawa. He's usually the uh, most jokester of the group. The guy to the left is Ikaza, I think. Iza Izaki? I'm not too sure. I, I forget his name. Uh, and the guy with uh, blonde hair is Miwa. The kid's name is Cowmoy. And now we're going to play. It's mostly talking, but... So from this point... We take a uh, great zero that we wish. So it'll be our uh, little trumpeter here. And we'll put him face down. Pepper, rock, scissors, see who goes first. Okay, no problem. I won that one, so I'm going first. You draw five cards. Then you can take any amount of cards and send them back. 
and you draw that many. Cool. And then you ride. So my card just leveled up. So instead of having five thousand power or six thousand power, it's now eight thousand power. I can now call uh, cards of equal value uh, to any of these circles. So we're gonna go ahead and place our dog here, Wingle. And we would attack, but it's the first turn, so we we gotta let the opponent go first. He's gonna bring out a big guy. So he's gonna attack, and the card behind him is boosting, it's adding its power to it. So I have the chance to take any card from my hand as long as its uh, value is the same as my Vanguard, which is 1, and add its shields to uh, protect me. Unfortunately, I have nothing but uh, value 2s, so I, I can't block. I am going to take a bit of damage. 1 point. Oh, uh, there goes a Blaster Blade. Five more damage and I lose. Hello, Renzo. How you doing? So we're going to ride up to the next stage. Galatine. We're going to bring out a Galatine. And... We're good. So, at this point, we're going to attack. So, Galatine to the Vanguard. If he can block it, cool. Nope, he takes a point of damage. Five more, he loses. Nope. So, if I, uh... Oh, you you just came home from work? Nice. So if I had revealed one of those trigger cards I had mentioned before, I would get an additional power-up plus uh, whatever effect I revealed. Oh, wait. See, he can't go to value 2. He didn't have the right cards. So at this point, I'm going to show you how blocking works. I'm going to take this card from my hand, slap it down, add its shield, I'm 15, and I, I stop the attack. No damage. That's another 15. I'm actually going to take the hit. So I get to add, so since I reveal the trigger, I can add 5,000, so boom, there. Not like it helped, but that's alright. I'm going to drop uh, Lian. Leanne's skill, I can rest her by discarding a card, and I draw one, which is really cool, except I'll have to wait till next turn to use that. We'll use Blaster Blade skill, which is taking two of this damage, flipping it face down, counter blasting. And essentially, it will still count as damage, but I can't use it for effects. Blaster Blade skill will allow me to... Ah, uh, 
retire something, but I forgot. It's a uh, value two or higher. I messed up. That that's my bad. Oh well. I messed up. It's okay. All right, we'll attack, try and get some damage. Hey, he gets an extra card, yay. He said happily, not really. Uh, my 10,000 to a 13 would not do anything, so I would have to end my turn, no problem. Anyone have any questions so far? I, I feel like I'm explaining it well, but not enough that... I, I feel like I might be losing out on something, I don't know. I'll take the damage. Oh, I forgot I selected it. Oh, well. Oh, I'm just messing up. I'm just messing up. Reco Recorder's Curse. It's okay. We'll go ahead and write Alfred. It's amazingly fun, Jay Clark. Like, it makes me smile every time I get to play it. We'll go ahead and call out Boars. And we'll bring out Morgana as well. So, Alfred has a bit of a... He, he's a little picky. He doesn't want anyone's help uh, powering him up. But he gets a power-up by having all of his friends around him. So, he's kind of like that loner guy, but he's not really a loner. You know, that type of guy. We all know a type of guy like that. So, taking Galatine with Morgana. And then, Alfred. Now, because I'm a grade 3... A value three, I get to check the top two cards of my deck. I got a stand trigger. So what that's gonna do is gonna make my uh, rear guard, my my friend, like you, Sparky. Yeah, he's gonna stand up, and I can give him five thousand, so he gets stronger. So Galatine's gonna attack again. Boars boosted by Lien. Boars of skill. I'll uh, counter blast. Flip down a damage. Add plus 3,000 to Boars. So for 20,000 attack. Alright. Hey, we won. We got 250 points, which are uh, used for booster packs. We got a critical trigger as a prize card. Pretty cool. Hi, Cowboy. Oh, Renzo, trust me, this is... So simple compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. This is so, so simple compared to Yu-Gi-Oh, bud. I, I can promise you that. Cool. Cool. 
These are deck recipes. Ew, I don't want those. Alright, so we have 3,250 VP. This is essentially credits at this point. It allows us to buy items for our deck. And we have so many packs to look through. So what I'm going to do... I can buy the entire box right now. Which is 30 packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 30 packs. That will be 3,000 VP. That would be our entire bundle. This is the first set. It is a set that's going to help us uh, build up our Royal Paladins. So, chat, I need to know. Should we buy 15 packs, see what we get, or buy the full box? I'm seeing go for box from Renzo. Anyone else want to throw their uh, two cents in? Guess I'm gonna go for the full box. Here we go. First pack we got. So we got Nova Grappler card. We got Leanne. Leanne's not bad. We got a rare uh, Mega Colony card. Ew. We got a Tachikaze card and a Oracle Think Tank. These are all clans. Essentially. Second pack. Uh, we got a little Sage Baron, but we already have four of those. Uh, rare Tachikaze. Other than that, nothing really good out here, so let's keep going. Oh, we got double rare uh, Lou Critical. That's for Royal Paladins. That's nice. Uh, we got a rare Galatine, which I can replace my, uh, my non-foil one with. Other than that, nothing too interesting out of this one. Hey, Isolt, we needed this. We need three more of this. This is a double rare. There's five or six double rares a box. That's a perfect guard, so no matter how big the attack could be, Say it's 2 billion of power. I stop it. I stop it dead in tracks. Let's see. Uh, another rare Tachikaze. Nothing too important here. Hey! Who has got a second insult? I'll take it. I'll happily take it. We can run four of those in a deck. Uh, rare Nubata uh, Nubatama. Alonia, yeah, we are not playing Nubatama. Sorry. Uh, Wyvern Strike Tejas, uh, which is a rare for Kagero. The Fire Dragons, that's not bad. 
Ooh. Hey, we got a triple rare. Battle Sister Cocoa. That's not bad. I might use that later. It's not bad. Uh, we got Rare Nova Grappler, the King of Sword. Okay. Kind of interesting. Uh, Baraki's not bad. Ooh. Hey, we got an SP. So, SP is a rank above uh, Triple Rare. There's usually one a box, maybe. It's kind of like a, a Secret Rare in Yu-Gi-Oh! Or a Ghost Rare in Yu-Gi-Oh! That's super cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. I'll take SPs. I'll take SPs all day. Uh, rare Mega Colony. Uh, other than that, Brocky's this card. Brocky's not bad. Uh, Commodore Blue Blood as the rare. Eh, it's not bad. Uh, we got double rare Vortex Dragon for Kagero. Why is it wanting me to do Kagero so all suddenly? Uh, rare Mega Colony again. Okay, I guess that works. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, another result. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll happily take it. Uh, we got Queen Queen of Heart. Yeah, Queen of Heart. Rare. We got Flogal. Although we got four Flogals. Uh, I don't remember what this is called, but it's an Oracle Thank Tank. I know that. It's a rare. Okay, that's not bad. Another Queen, queen of Heart. Ooh. Hey, we got the Triple Rare Blaster Blade. We may have four Blaster Blade already, but that was my very first triple rare ever playing the uh, playing the game in real life. That was my first triple rare ever. So that's super cool. We got a Genocide or Brutal Jack, uh, which is a rare for Nova Grappler. Uh, another Vortex Dragon as a double rare. Uh, Battle Sister Mocha for Double Rare. By the way, if anyone's hungry, don't listen to me play the, uh, Battle Sister, uh, deck. Because all you're gonna hear is, like, chocolate, mocha, cocoa, uh, ginger, stuff like that. Like, sweet treat foods. We, <laughs> okay. Battle Sister Chocolate Perfect Guard, uh, for Oracle Thank Tank. Okay. We got a Bloody Hercules uh, Mega Colony Rare. Alright. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a, a Tachikaze Rare. Uh, another one. Oop. Another Blaster Blade Triple Rare. I will happily take that. We got a King of Sword Rare. And that's it. Neat. So, honestly, like, that wasn't too bad. And we got three perfect guards. We have to edit our deck. I do have enough for two more packs. Uh, so, I'm going to... Uh, Renzo, you still in here, bud? You told me to go for the box, so I'm going to trust on you. We can go that set I just pulled from. So, set one or set two.
Set set two then or set one? Set one's what we pulled a lot of. Set two? Alright. I can only get two packs because now I'm broke. Alright, let's see. What did we get? So, out of this, we got uh, Grand Blue, uh, Bermuda Triangle, Tachikaze Rare. We got Grand Blue, uh, Critical, a Kagura a draw. And then we got a Nova Grappler Common, uh, Spike Brother Common, Grand Blue, Rare, uh, Oracle Think Tank Critical, and a Spike Brother uh, Heal. Had to think about that for a second. All right, at ah, leave, cool. All right. Yeah, it. What do you mean it wheels to update slowly? Am I dropping fl frames? Let's see. No, I'm not dropping frames. Seems to update slowly. Yeah. Sorry about that, bud. Alright. Let's edit our deck real quick. Uh, we need to filter out or filter filter in all royal paladins. Yep, I'm uh, having having an issue now. There we go. We're gonna start back over properly. Uh, one. Okay, triggers are done. We're going to add in four, Lu uh, four Lien, three Perfect Guard, four Marin, and then we need three more cards, so we'll go three more Wingle. Ah, we'll go cute, cute Wingle. Next up, two Blaster Blade and two more of that Blaster Blade. We can't have uh, more than four because they share the same name. Four Galantine. And three Tristan. Then one Alfred. Oh, four Gantzlaw. And three Boars. Oh.
Let's save it. There we go. We're going to play another match real quick, and then I think that might be it. I'm not too sure. Well, we'll fight against Miwa. All right, choose our starter Vanguard. We'll go paper. Oh, we lost, cool. I like going second. Now we can take as many cards as we want, send to the bottom. Alright, we're going to ride Marin so that we have a strong defense. And we'll call out Wingle. So, Marin attacking, boosted by Wingle. 14. Stand trigger, not like it helps. Is he just running the uh, Royal Paladin starter? Yep. So, taking Sunlight Unicorn, I guard. I block that attack, not a problem. This attack I'll let hit. He got a heal, okay. Thank you, Miwa. Th thank you for uh, kicking me in the shins. I appreciate it. A stand trigger, yay! Useful, not really, but still. Oh, I guess we're both being forced to use uh, starters. I I don't I don't know, but okay. Call. So my rear guard will attack his, well, versus his uh, attacking possibilities. Since he didn't block, it dies. Now my vanguard will attack his, so I can do some points of damage. Since Wingle is boosting Blaster Blade, he gets an extra little boost. Oh, who's he riding? Oh, the butterfly dude that we have. And boars and Gansla. Okay, calm down. Well, block. Stop that damage.
since he's a grade three, he's gonna look at the top two cards of his deck. So we'll we'll no guard. We'll take the damage. Cool. Oh, bye, Galatine. Sad face. And Boris is coming for my face, so let's drop another 5,000 shield to stop that damage. Stand and draw. We got Tristan, but we'll use him as shield. So we'll attack the Vanguard. Boars. Plus 5,000. So whenever we reveal a grade 3 or higher, we get plus 5,000. Stand trigger. Okay. Okay, I, I forgot what Tristan's effect... Or, is that Tristan? I'm not too sure. I forget their effect, though. Drop Flogel, five or ten thousand shield protects us. I'm gonna go shut my door real quick. Uh, I can't really guard against this, so I'm going to no guard, take the damage. Draw trigger, uh, 5,000 to Gancelot, yep. So that'll be, uh, 20,000, uh. Twenty thousand, please, why, no. Um, no guard. I'm at four damage. I gotta pull ahead. All right, I can work with this. We'll call Boars. Morgana. Sunlight Unicorn. We're going to give the boost to uh, uh, this card, which is plus 2,000 power. Yep, 2,000. And now we're going to go for face. Stand trigger, defensive trigger, got to love that. Not really. Slightly agitated by that, but that's alright. 16 to Vanguard. 15. No pass. Grade 1. Critical trigger. So that's going to give plus 5,000 power and plus 1 damage. So if I can hit him with this, this is going to be super good. Flip a damage down so I can add plus 3,000 power. 18. 24. 
Sadly, I did not hit. He had just enough to block. Fifteen. Uh, we'll block that. Let's see, there are sixteen. We'll intercept with grade two, uh, which essentially we can take them from the front row, move them to guardian, which means our shields. That was an overguard on my end. Yeah, six cards in hand, and I have none. This is not good. I, I'm in a terrible position. But this is good. We'll ride Gancelot. So because we have a Blaster Blade and Soul, we can now use his ability. Which is plus 5,000 power and plus one critical already. We might be able to do a damage to him. Okay, we're going to do a damage here. Gancelot boosted by Wingle. Thirty K. Two triggers. Ah, uh, nope. Not gonna happen. Draw trigger. Plus five thousand to Morgana. Fifteen. We got him to five damage. That's not bad. I'll happily take that. We'll guard with both these cards and protect ourselves for one attack. Oh, I'm hoping I get a heal. No crit, all heal. No crit, all heal. Please. Uh, I, I meant a heal for me, not a heal, heal for them. Wow. Okay. Drop me a heal, please. I need heal. Okay, that's a draw trigger. I'll, I'll kind of take that. Oh, please don't hurt me. <laughs> no, guard. Be a heal, please. Nope. Oh well. 
That's alright. We got 100 points. We got enough for a pack. Oh, well. We're gonna grab a random pack uh, out of this one. Boom. What did we get? Nothing good. Nothing good. I, I made mistakes. That's right. Alright, unfortunately, I do gotta get going. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see more of this? Or should I just not, you know? Please let me know. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you already haven't subscribed. Uh, hit the like button if you did enjoy it. Make sure you join the public discord if you want to be a part of the big old happy family. And until next time, keep it awesome everyone. Greatly appreciate it.